And welcome to this week's campsite review and today we are staying at another Shawfield touring park called Wilkesworth Caravan Park just north of Winborn Minster. We haven't been to a Shawfield site in a while and after they closed Merley Court to tour in, shame on them, we decided to check out the closest one as a replacement so let's have a look. So welcome to Wilkesworth Caravan Park. So like I said, we are at Wilkesworth Caravan Park, which is on the south coast of England, just north of Bournemouth and near Winborn Minster. The site is approached down the B3078. You can get to it from the north or the south and you turn into Wilkesworth Caravan Park. The roads approaching the main entrance to Wilkesworth are decent B-size roads so you shouldn't have any trouble gaining access to the site. But once you're on site and through the gate the road narrows to, so be sure to take care down this single lane. It turns out we should have received a text with a code for the gate, but we didn't, so we needed to park up and head into reception. that I'm another person that didn't get the text message because it should have been on the text message. Oh. Okay, let's get to the pitch. On the right there is reception and on the left is the toilet block and up here ahead of us is the play park, but more on those in a minute. We are onto the main touring field. Lots of pictures quite close together, but clean and tidy. And this is us down here. What number are we? 61. We are looking for pitch number 61, so let's get parked up. And this is a fully serviced pitch with electric water and drainage. They call it an executive pitch. And with that name, I was kind of expecting something uh, a little bigger, but we can fit on here easily enough. Welcome to Wilkesworth camping caravan site. Here's our pitch. So when I do these reviews, I tend to get the footage when I can and then piece it all together in the computer. So you may not be viewing this in the actual order it was recorded, but it will make perfect sense. Do not worry. So welcome to Wilkesworth Caravan Park. We are at reception. It's still really early. I'm going to do a little walk around, but I won't be talking much on camera because of the time. It's really still 7 a.m. like I say, so we don't want to disturb people. So let's go for a let's go for a walk around. So to give you a rough idea, this is the route we're going to take from the main gate here, past the toilets and to the play park and then leaving the play park back around the touring field, a quick stop to show you the pool before we reach our pitch at the end. So this is where we started earlier when we couldn't get through the car park barrier, if you remember that. Make sure the gate is shut and 
here we are heading into the park on the right here is reception which has a well stocked shop and I'll show you that in a moment and on the left here is the shower block and behind that is some other amenities like the washing up and chemical uh, chemical toilet disposal again more on that in a moment let's continue up here so that was the reception and the toilet block just behind me over here we have static caravans that they're selling Let's continue. Here are the static caravans that are being used and owned and rented out, I assume. the children's play park it's pretty well equipped it's uh, all set out on sand so it's pretty child friendly and the kids can have a great time in there there's a table tennis table uh, you can see the football pitch there and over the field there is also a volleyball court which is not something you get at every campsite. Okay, let's carry on round the touring field. So pictures on both sides of the road here, you can see they are quite close together. Um, Putting quite a few pictures on this field, which is not my uh, not my preference, but uh, that's the site it is, which is fine. There is a tennis court there, which you can rent stuff for at reception, the same as the tennis, the table tennis table, and here is the pool, which they are in the middle of refurbishing and hoping to get it open soon in time for summer. undergoing repairs apparently. And here we are back at our pitch and to give you a sense of, uh, to get your bearings through there, the brick building you can see was the toilet block that we just looped past a few moments ago. So we are now going to leave the Touring Park and go and have a quick look at the other facilities and the amenities. So here we are at the shower and toilet block and pretty clean, pretty tidy, pretty typical of a campsite shower and toilet block of course we can use the shower so I can't give you any feedback on that at the moment as they're not open but everything else was pretty good sinks were clean there was plenty of sinks toilets were good you know they're pretty basic what more do you need and here you can see plenty of Washing up sinks, undercover but outdoors, which is fine. Uh, decent sized sinks, hot water was good. And again, they had plugs, which is always useful. Large outdoor chemical toilet disposal points, which is good to have. Didn't actually use it this time because the toilets were open um, and the wastewater and drinking water is right there too. And a huge tent in field. There's electric points out there as well, as you can see along the hedge there. So here we are back at reception. I'm going to show you the shop now. 
and it's a pretty decent shop. It had most things you needed, drinks, frozen foods, uh, all the essentials and more. And for those extra emergencies that we all have, they even had alcohol for sale. So there's not really much more you can ask from a campsite shop, I don't think. So what is nearby this campsite? Well, we didn't really visit much. You're not far from Bournemouth and the New Forest, but we went into Wimborne Minster, which is a nice little town. It had quaint little streets, a beautiful church. It had outdoor cafes, and this is the pub we went to our night there, which was good. So here's the big question, would we return? Well, you know, I'm not sure that we would. The executive pictures weren't quite what we were expecting and I'm not a big fan of plots of grass with lots of pictures tightly packed in. Uh, I really wanted to check this site out because Shawfield's other touring park at Merley Court is now closed and that was a much better site than this in our opinion. Certainly the pictures were a lot more um, to our liking anyway. Uh, in addition, there was families and loud music and children playing music up to um, 1.30 a.m., which, while I know this isn't a reflection on the site itself, I know some sites have marshals or staff that try and monitor this, and that didn't seem to be the case here. But all in all, it's a really good site. If you want lots for the kids to do, there's big play parks, there's a swimming pool when it's working, tennis courts, table tennis, football pitches. The shop is really good. Um, but I think us doing what we do, we do like to get out and about and see new places and new campsites. So. Uh, I don't think it's one that we would return to, but it is a really nice, clean, tidy site. So uh, there we go. That is my review of Wilkesworth Caravan Park from our trip there recently. As mentioned before, this is filmed in April 2020, so uh, 2021, sorry. So bear that in mind if you're watching it. Um, and I'm gonna leave it there. So I hope you like the review. We've got lots more travel videos coming up, lots more reviews coming up. Uh, stay tuned to the channel don't forget to give me a thumbs up that really um, helps the channel if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos in the meantime thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this review and we will see you in the next video